Greetings, Preacher Rick with you live at 5 one more time with the gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ. The Spirit says come is the title of our sermon today and it comes from the very last chapter in the Bible, the book of Revelation chapter 22 and I want to read to you in the 17th verse. It says, And the Spirit and the bride say, Come. And him that heareth say, Come. And let him that is a thirst Come, and whosoever will, let him take the water of life freely. Bless God forever. Thank God forever. God says come. Uh, and I'm so glad he uh, uh, beckons us uh, uh, to his throne of grace, aren't you, today? Uh, and here we are looking close to the end of the Bible. Uh, just uh, four more verses after that one, and, and we'll be at the end of the Bible. And as I'm looking at that, uh, I'm thinking God is saying come right here at the end. Uh, and right here at the end of time that we're living in, uh, uh, as our days uh, uh, coast downhill in time, uh, uh, as we know it will come to an end uh, uh, God is still beckoning unto us uh, come uh, come uh, he says come uh, uh, thank God and whosoever will let him take uh, the water of life freely uh, if you go all the way back in the Old Testament to the old prophet Isaiah uh, it says almost the same thing uh, in chapter 55 in the first verse. Uh, Ho, everyone that thirsteth, uh, come ye to the waters. Uh, thank God, and he that hath no money, come ye buy uh, and eat. Uh, yea, come buy wine and milk without money and without price. Uh, uh, thank God, why? Uh, because Christ already paid the price. Uh, Bless his loving and holy name. Aren't you thirsty? Uh, the Bible says he that hungers uh, and thirsts after righteousness uh, uh, shall be filled. Uh, aren't you hungry and thirsty for righteousness today? Uh, uh, to live in the center of God's will. Uh, to have that peace that only he can offer. Uh, uh, thank God forever. Uh, aren't you hungry today? Uh, aren't you thirsty today? Come to the water of life. Uh, uh, Christ I uh, told the little woman at the well uh, and then when he asked her to give him a drink of water uh, he said had you asked me I could have given you uh, a living water where you'd never thirst again springing up out of your belly uh, and I can testify uh, of that today he is the water of life uh, I was thirsty for the truth uh, I needed Jesus more than anything in this world uh, and I finally uh, I came to that realization uh, and when I did uh, uh, he quenched my thirst uh, he gave me uh, uh, thank God that living water uh, uh, that springs up inside of me and I've never thirsted again uh, from that day to this uh, oh yes I still thirst for the uh, natural water of course uh, but we're speaking spiritual things here uh, and that's what the Bible's talking about. Uh, come and buy without money. How can you buy without money? Uh, you have to sell out. Uh, thank God of sin. You have to be determined uh, that you're sick of sin uh, and sell out to it. Uh, uh, thank God and uh, uh, devote your life to the Lord Jesus Christ uh, that he might be first in your life and the most important uh, thing in your life and your life period because without him you're dead already uh, in trespass and sin. Uh, he said, I am the way, uh, the truth, and the life. Uh, bless his loving uh, and holy name. His name is Jesus. Uh, and if you read uh, uh, there in that last chapter of Revelation, he said, I'm the Alpha and Omega. In other words, uh, I'm the A and the Z. I'm the beginning and the end. Uh, I'm the first and the last. Uh, uh, thank God forever. Uh, uh, my name is Jesus, he tells us. Uh, and uh, listen, uh, the, the name Jesus, Jesus uh, is the most precious name you'll ever hear uh, in this life. Uh, why? Because it's the name uh, of the only begotten Son of God. Uh, and bless his name, he says, come. And let's look uh, at this verse uh, that we got our sermon from. It says, come. And the Spirit uh, and the bride say, come. Uh, uh, what does that mean? Uh, it means uh, that the Spirit of God, uh, through uh, the church, uh, which is the bride of Christ, uh, 
Thank God uh, is beckoning. Uh, the Spirit of God draws you, and God uses men uh, to preach. Uh, and the bride, that's the bride, uh, us that are being used. Uh, all of us Christians would be considered the bride, uh, and the Spirit of God works through his bride. Uh, and thank God we, uh, uh, the Spirit of God says, come. Uh, and that drawing is there. Uh, and God uses men to preach and people to testify uh, and say, come to Jesus. He's the best thing uh, that ever happened to me uh, and as we testify uh, of his goodness and we preach uh, and teach about his goodness uh, uh, we know in the Bible uh, it says it's the goodness of God that leadeth thee to repentance uh, uh, so when we share the goodness of God uh, uh, thank God and we help others to realize uh, that that's what led us to repentance to begin with uh, it will lead you to repentance uh, when you look around and look away from man and you look to the only begotten son of God it will lead you to repentance get your eyes off people and the faults of man and the weakness of man and fix your eyes on the cross the blessed cross of redemption where Jesus hung there bled and died for the sins of mankind that we might be redeemed and it's time to let the redeemed of the Lord say so thank God forever we we need to let the world know uh, that Jesus uh, is our Redeemer, uh, that he's the only uh, name that they can be saved by, that there's no other way uh, uh, to heaven except through and by him. Uh, bless his loving uh, and holy name, and he cries uh, through the Holy Spirit, uh, come, uh, come ye that thirst. Uh, thank God. Come, uh, uh, thank God. Uh, and as we read on, it says it three times, uh, and the Spirit and the bride say, come, uh, and him that heareth uh, say, come. Uh, and that doesn't mean uh, just anyone that hears a, a message. It means those uh, that uh, hear and listen uh, and realize and come to that place in their life, uh, and they want to share it. Uh, I remember when I first got saved, I wanted to get everyone saved. I still do, uh, thank God, because uh, I say come, come uh, while you can. And him that is a thirst, come. Uh, if you're thirsty for the truth, uh, if you're thirsty for the answer to life, uh, the, the purpose of life, uh, uh, the answer to all the stuff that's going on, uh, come. Come where, preacher? Uh, come to the foot of the cross. Uh, bow down before the Lord Jesus Christ uh, and commit your white life unto him. When you surrender your will uh, to the will of God, uh, uh, thank God, uh, and you truly repent of your sins, uh, and you really want to live uh, the Christian life that God has ordained for you to live, uh, there'll be a peace sweep over you uh, like you never imagined. Uh, thank God, it's had, the Bible says it's peace like unto a river. Uh, uh, it's joy unspeakable and full of glory, uh, uh, bless God forever. Uh, and when you have the peace of God, uh, uh, the, thank God peace uh, that is unexplainable. Uh, uh, when you have that peace, uh, uh, there's no devil this side of hell uh, that can take it away from you. Uh, uh, thank God I have found that peace to be there uh, in my uh, most tumultuous time, uh, uh, in my most uh, unsecure time in my hardest time I have found the peace of God to still be there thank God forever he said I'll never leave you I'll never forsake you lo I am with you always even to the end of the world when you have that kind of a, a promise to stand upon as the old song says standing on the promises of God thank God you'll be wanting to tell other people to come, 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 come. Three times it says it right there uh, in the fourth verse uh, from the end of the Bible, uh, or actually the fifth, uh, verse 17. Uh, it says, And the Spirit and the bride say, Come. Uh, thank God. And he that heareth say, Come. Uh, and let him that is a thirst come. Uh, uh, thank God. And whosoever will, uh, that's you, that's me, uh, that's whosoever will, uh, uh, let him come and take of the water of life freely. Uh, oh, there's nothing like the water of life. Uh, there's nothing like uh, having 
having your thirst quenched. Uh, there's nothing like uh, having the goodness of God in your heart. Uh, there's nothing like that peace uh, that I already mentioned that passeth understanding. Uh, there's nothing like uh, having, I uh, thank God, uh, the Spirit of God in your heart and soul uh, and that peace uh, of knowing that if you die today, uh, it'll be all right because you're safe uh, in the arms of Jesus. Uh, oh, I'm so safe in the arms of Jesus, uh, my Lord. Uh, I'm so glad I came. Uh, won't you come? Uh, won't you come? Uh, won't you come to the foot of the cross? Uh, won't you devote your life to the Lord Jesus Christ while there's still time? Uh, won't you pray through? Uh, the old timers used to say, you don't hear it much anymore. Uh, get to the altar and pray through. Uh, pray through. What do you mean, preacher? Pray through. Uh, pray to you reach uh, the gates of heaven. Uh, pray to you get your answer. Uh, pray uh, till the Holy Spirit's all over you uh, and you know that you've been forgiven uh, and you know that your name's in the Lamb's book of life uh, and you don't have any doubt uh, but watch it which God heard and answered your prayer. Uh, bless his loving and holy name. Uh, that's the way. Uh, uh, that's why uh, we need to come. Uh, thank God. And that's what it takes to get saved. Come, come, come to the Lord Jesus Christ. Until next time, this is Preacher Rick signing off. We love you all. Bye-bye.